One of my favorite things about owning a chinchilla is designing their cage. That's why today in this video, I'm going to give you five DIY chinchilla shelf ideas, starting from the most basic to something a little bit more fancy. So let's get into it. Now, before we get into it, let's talk about the things you're going to need for this project. First and most importantly, you're going to need wood for your shelf. And as I have stated before in my pros and cons video, chinchillas chew on everything. So this needs to be a safe wood and hardware stores have a lot of unsafe wood. So my recommendation is to use a kiln drying pine. You don't want anything else in it, just pine. So a lot of times they add like birch and spruce and those are not good. We just want the pine and make sure also that it is kiln dried. However, at each hardware store, they're going to be named something different. So at Home Depot specifically, I got the common board and I even asked one of the staff members there to make sure that it was just pine and they said that it was. You're also going to need hanger bolts that are about a quarter inch thick and about two to three inches long. You're also going to need wing nuts and washers to go with it. So for power tools, you're going to need a drill, but you don't necessarily need to get a saw because you can go to your hardware store and they can cut it to size for you. So you don't need a saw, but it does make it easier. So I specifically used a jigsaw for this project. So like I said before, you're also going to need a drill. You will probably need pliers. And if you want to do any of the fancy stuff, you're going to need some clamps and a safe glue, which the glue that we used is the Elmer's wood glue and it's super non-toxic. So it'll be safe for your chinchillas. However, there's one more thing you could possibly add to these shelves as well, which is going to be my last shelf and it is a chinchiller. So it's just a granite slab. You can probably also pick one up at your hardware store, but for now we're just going to use a chinchiller because it's thin, it's already cut and it's super easy to get them. Let's just start off with our basic shelf. This is going to be a basic form for the rest of the shelves as well. So if you don't already have your wood cut from the hardware store, you're going to want to get your jigsaw or other saw and cut your wood to size. Next, you're going to want to take sandpaper or if you have a sander, that would be easier, but I just have sandpaper. So I'm going to smooth out all of the edges of our shelves with some sandpaper. Next, you want to plan where you're going to put the shelf in the cage because it's going to affect where you put the hardware on the back of your shelf. So what I like to do is I place the shelf in the cage approximately where I'm going to put it so that I know where the bars are so then I can put the hardware in between the bars. So you want to plan out how big your shelf is and where you want to support the shelf. So if you have a bigger shelf, you might want to have more than one side having this hardware. So I will actually get into that later in this video because I have a bigger shelf, so I need support from two sides. But for this basic shelf, we're just going to use two bolts, one in each corner on the back of the shelf, just so that it supports the weight of the shelf. Next, you're going to take your drill and you're going to drill a hole. So make sure that you have a bit that is approximately the size of your bolt. And you also want to determine how far down you need to go. So make sure that you keep a mental picture of how big the bottom part of your hanger bolt is compared to your drill so that you can go almost as far as you would need to. So let's get into drilling. You want to drill directly onto the marks that you made. And I go approximately about two inches down and then pull it straight out. This will differ on what size bolt that you actually got. After you put two holes in your shelf, you're going to start putting the hardware into these two holes. So the way that I do it is I take a wing nut and I put it on my hair bolt upside down and then I take another wing nut and I put it on upside right and then screw them so that they're butt up against each other so that you can't screw either one. This will make it so it's easier to then manually screw this hanger bolt into your shelf. You're gonna start with your fingers and then once it starts getting hard you can use pliers. You want to screw this in until you can't see any of these screw threads. Next, you're going to take off these wing nuts and it might be hard to do so. So you're going to use 
two pairs of pliers to kind of undo the two wing nuts. Now that we have our basic shelf, we're gonna use this as a model for the rest of the shelves. Do you remember that one video where I talk about my secret tips for chinchilla care? Well, one of those tips was hoop guards, and I am gonna show you exactly how to do that for shelves. So this next one, we're going to add a hoop guard to our basic shelf. Now you're going to wanna to start this shelf off the same way you did the basic shelf. So you're gonna cut the shelf, but you also wanna cut the hoop guard. So you wanna make sure that it is the same length as the shelf that is for. For the height, you want it to be anywhere from two to three inches, depending on how you're going to attach it to your shelf. In my example, I have one that's about an inch and a half, and I have another one that's about two inches. So you can reference what's going to work best for you. Now that you have your poop guard cut and you have that basic shelf, all you need to do is glue on your poop guard on top of your shelf. So you're going to take your Elmer's wood glue and you're going to put a bead on the bottom of your hoop guard on that edge. You wanna put it exactly in the middle and you do not need a lot of this glue. I promise you, if you use a lot of glue, it's just going to leak out the sides. So make sure you don't put a lot and I promise that it's going to spread itself out. Trust me. Once you have the glue on the edge of your hoop guard, you're going to add that to the top back portion of your shelf and you're going to use a clamp. You either want to clamp in the middle if you have a smaller shelf or you want to use two clamps and clamp either side. After you have this clamp you want to wait about 12 to 24 hours. Just leave it overnight and it should be good for the next day. Spiders want me to tap dance. You can even get creative with the furniture that you put in your chinchilla's cage. For example, my theme is castles and even with the shelves, I have managed to show my theme. So what I did was I got one of the hole saws and I made holes on the top of the poop guard to make it look like a castle wall. So even with your shelves, you can follow a certain theme and make your cage look super cool. And if anyone has actually done this, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear about all of your themes so I can maybe steal some of your ideas. And if you want to go even a step further, follow me on Instagram and tag me in a post with your themed cage. Now that we've gone over poop guards, let's move on to the next thing, which is going to add a little bit of jazz to your shelf. One of the things that I really enjoy doing with shelves is adding holes so that they can kind of like go through a maze in their cage. So what you're going to need to accomplish this on your shelf is you're going to need a hole saw. Hole saws are basically a circular saw that you're going to attach to your drill and you're probably going to need either a very strong clamp or someone to hold the shelf while you're cutting this hole. No way. You would do this alone? Is this clean for really doing anything? Nope. I didn't think so. Fun and interactive. After you cut the hole, I also did an extra step where I smoothed out the edge. I used a router and what this does is it basically rounds off the edges so you don't have any sharp corners. This is especially nice for these hole shelves because it basically makes it a lot easier for them to go in it without having a rough edge to rub against. Plus, it also looks very nice. It looks very polished when you router the edge of your shelves. However, once you do cut this hole, make sure that you sand the edge of the hole and the rest of the shelf as well. Each time you do another cut, you wanna make sure that you sand everything that you cut. Now that you have this hole cut out in your shelf, you have made our third idea for a shelf, which is a circular shelf. And this four inch disc that you just got out of your shelf, you can use that as a shelf. And having a whole bunch of these like staircased around your cage makes it super interesting and a lot of fun for your chinchillas. With the circular shelf, you again wanna make sure that you are sanding all of the edges and the platform itself. And then all you need to do is the same thing as the basic shelf. 
You just need to drill a hole in the side of it and add one of your hanger bolts to it. Now the last shelf idea I have on my list is a pool shelf. This is where the chin chiller is going to come into place. Again, you can use a granite slab, but for ease of use, I'm going to use a chin chiller. Now to create this shelf, you wanna make sure that you are cutting the wood underneath it to fit not only the chin chiller or granite slab, but your poop guard if you would like to add one on this as well. However, in the example that I'm going to be showing you, I wanted to show you another way of attaching your poop guard. You can add your poop guard to the back edge, if that makes sense. So in this example, you will see me adding it to the back of the shelf instead of on top of the shelf. Once you have that cut out, I rounded off the bottom edge. You don't wanna round off the top edge because it's going to have a gap because you're going to glue this to the wood shelf. Once you have that cut out, we're going to glue the chinchilla onto the wooden shelf. So again, you don't wanna use a lot of glue because I made that mistake in this video because I was worried, I've never done this shelf before, but I wanted to try it for you guys. Don't use as much glue as I did. You're going to add two clamps, one on either side and kind of close to the middle so that it attaches itself well to the wood shelf. Then you're going to wait 12 to 24 hours and you're going to glue the next part, which is the poop guard. You don't need a poop guard, but in this example, this is what I used. So you want to, again, add a small bead of glue on the edge of your poop guard and attach it to your shelf. Then again, you're going to clamp it and leave it overnight. Lastly, you're going to add your hardware, which is going to be the same way that you added before. But for this, if you have a difference in size of hanger bolts, I would suggest using the bigger ones so that it has more support because it is a heavier shelf. Now let me give you a couple bonus tips on these five shelf ideas. First off, if you are making a larger shelf and you have a ferret nation cage or a critter nation cage, I would highly suggest you cut the two back corners off. And the reason for this is it's going to fit back there a lot nicer. You see in the back of the cage, there is a thicker piece of metal. So if you cut those two back corners off, it will make it a lot easier to place the shelf back there. And another thing, if you have a big shelf, you wanna make sure that you're putting enough support for the shelf. So my suggestion for a big shelf that goes all along the back of the cage, you should have about four bolts holding it up that are attached to the back side of the shelf. Now, if you have a shelf you're putting against the side of a critter or ferret nation cage, not only do you wanna cut off that back corner, but you also wanna support it on two walls. So for the shelf that has the hole that I made, I have four bolts in there. I have three along the back and I have another one that is attached to the back of the cage. So it has two of the cage walls that it is attached to, to provide support for the shelf. My last tip is if you wanna go further with your theme of your cage, you can actually use a food coloring to color your shelves. If you guys are interested in a video of that, make sure you give this video a like to let me know and I will get on to making a video for you about painting your chinchilla furniture. Now that I have all of these shelves, I'm going to be redoing one of my cages. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified the next time I post. Because in my next video, I'm going to be redoing a Piglet and Quinn's cage. That's right, my double ferret nation cage will be getting a makeover with all the shelves that I've just made. You guys will get a cage tour and I might even splurge on some toys to put in there as well. But while you guys wait for that, make sure you check out my chinchilla care video, which will be linked in the description below. It is also paired with a chinchilla care guide that is jam packed with checklists, item recommendations, and all of the care requirements for your chinchilla. Make sure to get your free guide in the description below. However, make sure to check out these videos next and I will see you guys in the next one. What about this? 
I think I might take up the entire width of the cage. Oh yeah. 